G'day guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And it has been three months. I'm alive, I'm not dead. Although, <laughs> according to YouTube, you know, three months is a very, very long time, especially when you're talking about beauty reviews and uh, whatnot. But anyway, I've been really, really sick lately, uh, which is one of the main reasons why I haven't been on here. I did record this already and the footage was absolutely kaput. I do apologise if you can hear background noises and stuff. We are in lockdown and I have four children at home. Uh, one of them is a four year old and the others are playing online. So uh, there is going to be background noise and I hope that's not a deal breaker for you guys. Now today I have three months worth of empties for you. If you don't know what empties are, they are basically every beauty related product that I have used, whether it's uh, skincare, hair care, you know, all that sort of juice, jazz, makeup even. Um, and I store it here and I essentially give you a little sort of like a review I personally think that that's better than a, um, a first impressions because I can give you a full-blown explanation on what the product has done for me over a period of time so if you're interested in that <laughs> and you're okay with me fumbling my words because it's been so long stay tuned welcome back guys all right I thought that we could start off with some hair care it's probably gonna be your mumbo jumbo anyway but I have got this uh, bot spray can oh my god I've got this uh, can of Batiste dry shampoo plus a uh, beautiful brunette oh my it's going to be a long video if I keep fumbling like this um I love this stuff I have not found a dry shampoo that I prefer more than Batiste unfortunately um, well, not necessarily, unfortunately. If you like something, you like something. But um, it's really hard to find this on special. So that's, I guess, where the unfortunate part is for me, is that I don't like to spend a lot of money on dry shampoo. So, um, yeah, this stuff is fantastic, and I'll definitely repurchase it again. I've brought it quite a few times in the past, and I'm sure I'll buy it more times in the future. But I would like a um, cheaper alternative that doesn't have a white cast. So if you've got any suggestions, I'm all ears. Moving on, I have this Cha-Ching... 5-in-1 Deep Conditioning uh, Hair Mask. This is in the scent Berry. Um, I don't actually like this, and although that it says that the scent is berry, I thought that I would be in absolutely love with it, but it's more like a perfume, and um, yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. I felt that this made my hair look um, kind of oily, to be honest with you, the next day. Um, it felt great while I was using it, but yeah, I don't know. This one just didn't work for me. So I'm not necessarily saying that it's a bad product. It just didn't work for my hair type. So um, I won't be repurchasing this one again. I got this from Priceline, by the way, and I think it was about $8, to be honest. So the next hair care product that I want to talk to you guys about is are these samples that I got from Christopher Robin. They are the Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Delicate Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner with Rose Extracts. These are interesting. So while I was using the shampoo, I can definitely tell that it was volumizing my hair somewhat. Um, and when I was washing it out, it was starting to get that, you know, that kind of like straw-like feeling, but not as aggressive as straw. Like I, I was thinking, oh no, this, this is kind of feeling like it's drying out my hair. While it's still giving it volume, that was great. And I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll give the conditioner a go, see how it goes. So I did use the conditioner straight after using the shampoo and the conditioner just completely undid all that you know, straw-like head-like texture. I actually really enjoy this. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go out and purchase it myself. Uh, I think that I can get just as good as a result with some other products uh, that I have that are cheaper. But I really did enjoy these. So um, if you come across these and they're on sale or whatever, or you want to give it a go, these were nice. But I wouldn't buy one without the other, to be honest with you. So there's that. Next product I want to talk to you about is this... Uh, what is it? It is the Laboratories Chlorine Anti-Pollution Shampoo. I didn't actually like this, but then again, I don't really like anything sort of menthol, mint, mint, <laughs> mint flavoured, flavoured, scented, whatever, in my hair. So um, uh, that's not going to be a very good reference for you guys. I just don't like it mainly because of the scent. And I just don't think it really did anything for my hair either. So, <laughs> but I mean, it is a tiny sample and um, I only got two uses out of it. So I think uh, it's more that I just didn't like the scent and I was thrown off because of that. Next, I want to move on to body and I have these two deodorants. Um, I actually have a third, but I don't know what I did with it. So anyway, um, this is the Dove Original. I absolutely love this. I sweat profusely um, and it's just... I feel like nothing else works. I've tried so many different deodorants, antiperspirants, you name it, and this has been the only thing that sort of not only stops the um, the, the amount of sweat that I produce, but also the odour. Um, and if I do have any sweat, it, 
it just smells like this, so I'm not complaining. I would definitely repurchase this. These you can usually find on sale. If you can't find it in one store, you can definitely find it in another one. But the larger versions of this doesn't fit, like, it's not the same. I don't know. I don't know why. I haven't really looked into it, but you can get a bigger one of this, but it's not the same as this. So this is the Dove Original Moisturising Cream 48 Hour Antiperspirant. Moving on, I have uh, something that I usually purchase, which is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash with oats, aloe, and vitamin E. It's called Calm and Clear. I absolutely love this stuff. It is very, very gentle. Um, it has a scent, but it's, well, it's gentle as well. I just think it's lovely. Um, I don't like the original price for it, but a lot of the time, if you're looking at Priceline, you can get it for like five bucks off. So I will generally purchase a couple bottles. I've actually picked another one up because it's on sale at the moment. So there you go. Next product that I'm a little bit disappointed about is this Imari Seduction Avon and not disappointed because of the scent. I love this. I can't express how much I love this scent. It is the seduction one, not the original Imari. But um, unfortunately Avon left Australia and because this is an aerosol I can't even get it flown in. So um, that sucks. So now I'm on the hunt to try and find a deodorant or body spray, sorry, that smells either similar to this or maybe even something different but like mm, i'm gonna end up wasting so much money because i'm really really funny with smells i get headaches instantly i don't like anything that's really really floral um yeah i kind of like woody scents and this is not a woody scent this is i can't explain to you what this smells like but oh my god i just oh mm, what am i gonna do anyway i need to find a deodorant preferably a citrus style deodorant lemon lemon grass um even orange or something. I need to find something soon. <laughs> uh, help me out, guys, um, because I have no idea. I brought a just randomly brought a random deodorant the other day, and I absolutely hate it. Um, I can't use any of the impulse deodorants. They give me headaches just like that. I don't know what to do. So yeah, <laughs> I'm on the hunt. The next product that I have is this Neuropathica Collagen X Beauty Shot. I got this in a Bella box, surprisingly, and I thought, ugh, okay, whatever. Um, I tried it and it wasn't terrible. It is, I think, what was it? It was peach flavoured, I think, yeah. Yeah, peach flavoured. So this is supposed to firm, smooth, hydrate skin and give you beautiful hair and strong nails. Maybe it does? I don't know, but I only had one shot and you're supposed to have one every single day. I'm not going to do that. Even if it does work, I highly doubt that I'm going to do that, and let alone I think they're like 3 or $4 each. I can't afford that. I know it doesn't sound like that much, but i got a family to feed, so um, it was nice, and if I had a box of them, I would drink one every single day, no problems. The next product I have is this uh, Too Cool For School Egg Cream Mask. Um, I wanted to like this, and the results that I got the next day were, well, actually, they were nice. But the problem is, is this is so fiddly. Um, it's got all this extra plastic shit in there that I don't think that it needs. The eye holes, nose hole, mouth hole, I don't feel are wide enough. And there is so much product. Like, there's so much product that it's fucking annoying. Um, it was, it was dripping all over the place, getting all over me. I just, I didn't have fun using this. Although I do say that, um, sorry, I do... I did see that the results that I got the next day were quite nice, but it's just not enough for me to fuck around with anymore, so... I won't buy this again, but I do recommend the results that this gives the next day. My skin felt fabulous, what can I say? But I don't want to use it, so... Hmm. <laughs> the next product I have for you, and I absolutely love this stuff, but I hate the price. This is from Dermalogica. This is the Hydro Mask Exfoliant. It doesn't look like this when you buy it in the full size, but it's got, it's this cream, and it's got these little, like, um, blue beads in it, and you put it on your face and you gently sort of massage it into the skin, and, um, yeah, it's just a really, really gentle exfoliant, but it's amazing. I love this stuff, and if it comes on sale, I'm definitely going to pick some up because I had a very, very wonderful time using this. I just, yeah, this is very, very nice, guys. If you've got an opportunity to try this, definitely give it a go. The next product I have is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA Moisturizer. This was okay. Um, I'm not going to say it was revolutionary because it's not. I've got another moisturizer that works just as well as this, if not better. And basically the same price, except, you know, this is half the uh, size. So, yeah, I don't know. This, this worked, but um, 
I guess it was good for my sensitive skin, but I didn't see fantastic results. It just sort of maintained um, the hydration in my skin without making it any worse. So I would get this again if I couldn't get my other moisturizer, but if I had my other moisturizer available to me, this is nah. <laughs> Moving on, I have the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These are wonderful. I absolutely love them. I pick them up whenever they're on sale. Sometimes I pick them up when they're not on sale. What I love about these is there's no extra fluid dripping down your face, or really you don't see any fluid at all. Uh, once you lay these guys down, you'll get an instant cooling feel underneath the eyes. There's no burning, no sensitivity, um, and they don't move. Uh, I think they probably are one of the better ones that you can use if you wanted to put mascara on or makeup on, you know, while you've got this on. They do have, like, on the uh, outside, it's kind of like a, um, I don't want to say carpet, but like a material kind of texture. So there's no residual fluid at all. Um, they're really affordable and I absolutely love these and I do recommend them. The next product I have for you is the Ordinary Buffet Serum. I absolutely love this. I saw a significant difference in my skin after I used this for maybe about a week and a half. Um, I definitely notice when I'm not using it, about a week later I start to, I don't know, like my skin starts to feel dehydrated again, it's not so plump. I even start seeing sort of like patches of discoloration in my skin, I guess. I guess it's kind of maybe a brightening... Um, technology to it as well. I'm not entirely sure what's in this. I'm not even entirely sure what it does, but I know that my skin loves this stuff and I've got another one of them on the way. The next product I have is a sample from Kate Somerville. This is the Exfoliate Glow Moisture Moisturizer Hydrant. I didn't like this. Um, it smelled strongly of perfume. Um, I got a little bit of a tingling sensation when I put it on. I just... I didn't like it. It's just not for me. I really don't like strong scented um, moisturizers. Not that sort of perfume, alcohol sort of scent. It just didn't work for me. Um, I didn't see anything exciting happening. I guess that it's not really fair of me to say that because I haven't used it for a long period of time. But my initial sort of feel about this is I, I didn't like using it. Therefore, I wouldn't continue to use it if I had more than just this sample anyway. So for me, I, I, you know, I don't recommend this um, for people who have uh, sensitivities to smell or even uh, skin sensitivities because I did feel burning. Um, yeah, it's just not for me. The next thing I have is the... Uh, what brand is this? I think this is Fan Fancy Face Nourishing Oil Cleanser. This was okay, but I felt that it left um, a residue on the skin after I tried to wash everything off, and I really don't like that. So it's not something that I would use again or even recommend to anybody, um, especially when there are better things out there that are, you know, budget-friendly as well. So it was okay. I tried it, but yeah, I just wouldn't repurchase this one. Next product I have is the Kiehl's Creme de la Corpse. Um, this was an all-over body moisturizer. This was okay. wasn't absolutely fantastic. wasn't memorable. Um, yeah, I don't it moisturized, but I didn't see anything like wow about it. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this one either just because I have better things. Next thing I have is this Alpha Essential Skin Perfecting Moisturizer. This is weird. I absolutely hated this. I don't know if I was doing it wrong. I don't know if it went bad. But when I opened it up, it had like, um, it, it looked like mucus, to be honest with you. It looked like somebody had coughed up blood and snorted a loogie with the blood inside of it. And like, well, I put it on my face and it just spread very mucusy, reddish, blotchy patches all over my face. I don't know what the deal is with this, but I was thoroughly grossed out and I would never repurchase this and maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I just didn't look into it because I was done. I I just didn't care. I didn't want to know. <laughs> I didn't want to take any more risks. This is nasty, um, or at least, you know, this one was, and uh, I will never repurchase this again. Next up, I have the Renewed Hope in a Jar Philosophy Overnight Recharging and Refining Moisturizer. I swear these brands, they just, let's make something and um, name it with, oh my god, like every word possible to describe it <laughs> in the title. Anyway, um, I don't remember this, so I guess it wasn't all that. Um, yeah, renewed hope in a jar. Yeah, I just, I'm sorry guys, I don't remember it, so I guess it wasn't revolutionary to me or my skin, so I guess I won't be repurchasing that one. Next up, I have this Replica Matcha Meditation M M Mason Margiela. 
Paris in a toilet. This is just a little sample here and um, yeah, uh, my son got to this, my four-year-old got to this. It is very, very strong. Um, I almost instantly get pain in my sinus from this. I think it's it's very, very floral um, and I wouldn't have been able to use this anyway. It's just too much so I wouldn't uh, buy this myself personally. Let's move on. Next up, and although I haven't finished using them, I had the, the packaging that they came in and I figured I may as well talk about it because I've been using them for a little while now. I have the Face Halo Pro. This is the black one. They have three in here and I think it's like 20 bucks to buy the three. These are, You're supposed to use these um, like instead of using a makeup removing product like, you know, a, um, oil or a balm or foam or anything like that. And yeah, you can, um, but I don't think that it's perfect without product. Like I've tried it with warm water, I've tried it with cold water, I've tried it with minimal makeup, I've tried it with excessive makeup. And while it works, there is a lot of tugging to the skin and I don't particularly like that, especially since I am getting older now and I do have fine lines everywhere. Um, so I'm trying to reduce the signs of aging and not give myself more. Um, while I do enjoy it, I think that I would use it with um, some makeup removing products, especially if you have like a uh, waterproof makeup and stuff like that. It does get mascara off, like it gets my Essence um, Lash Princess mascara off. That's not waterproof though, so I haven't really um, played around with too many different types of uh, mascaras. But it does work, it's just not revolutionary and I would much rather use something more gentle like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm instead of these guys. Next up, I have this Emco Beauty Waterproof Full Lash Mascara. This is absolute garbage. Um, it didn't give me volume, it didn't give me length, it was a pain in the ass, it was scratchy. This is horrible. I wouldn't even pay a dollar for this. Um, I don't know if this is just a bad one, but it was utter garbage for me. And um, Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess if anybody else has it and they love it, tell me what your secret is because I've tried to use this so many different ways. I don't normally throw away full-size products, but um, I am with this one because I just absolutely hate everything about it, unfortunately. So, yeah. Let's move on. The last two products I have in my empties are from the same brand. This is the Bean Body Espresso Lip Scrub and Lip Balm. These were nice. Um, I have other things in my collection that I prefer to use more than these guys, but these were lovely. I didn't have a problem with these and I would definitely repurchase them, especially if they were on sale. I like to use them both together. I think that the lip scrub is quite gentle. It's enough. Um, but the only thing I don't like about this is it says that it's inedible. Um, and, I, <laughs> you know, you get that little bit in your mouth and, you know, like, I, I don't know. Do, it, <laughs> what do you do? You know, I don't want to be spitting shit out everywhere while I'm trying to do this. I'd normally do my skincare routine, even lip scrubs and stuff like that while I'm in bed getting ready to, you know, chill out and, um, and end the night. And um, I don't want to be worrying about whether something is edible or not that is going in my mouth. Like, you know, I'm, I'm rubbing like this. It's not like putting on lipstick and yeah, I don't know. Um, so I do have something that is um, edible that, uh, you know, I would use above this. But these are nice, so if you do get a hold of these guys, um, you won't be disappointed. I'm just not so sure about that inedible part, especially for the lip scrub. But they do the job, and they work, they're lovely, I love coffee. This is right up your alley if you do. <laughs> anyway guys, look. I, uh, I apologize that it has been so long. This is not, I'm not even like really dressed up for this. It is going to be a struggle bus trying to get some videos out for you, some footage. I do have a lot of videos that I want to do, but my time frame, like, it's so limited now and it's going to be disrupted all over the place. And um, especially if I keep getting sick, like, I was sick for a good solid two weeks and my children were sick before that, and it's just. It is insane. So um, I do apologize. I, I thank you so much for your patience. And if you loved this video or you got anything out of it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you're not part of the crew and you want to be, don't forget to hit that like button. No, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button too if you like. And I really do hope to catch you in my next video, guys. Bye.